The Sentry Bot, a sentient tricycle with more guns than Duke Nukem's combat trousers and a seemingly infinite amount of ammunition. All housed comfortably behind an office building's worth of armour plating, certainly a recipe for a truly formidable enemy, but more importantly, a highly effective companion. Or is it? Well, that's just the question. Do the perks of having a walking, talking tank as a companion outweigh its shortcomings? Let's find out. As I'm sure you would expect, the sentry bot can very quickly and very efficiently dominate the battlefield, even with the most bare bones of modifications. With a medium engagement distance, the sentry bot is deadly at both close and medium range. It's also very strategic in its choices of combat, as it will charge in for a devastating melee blow when it senses a weaker target, but also knows when to keep its distance when faced with a stronger, more higher leveled opponent. And while its accuracy suffers at long range encounters, with an infinite amount of bullets this is never cause for concern, especially when you utilise their shoulder mounted nuke launchers. And yes, those are infinite as well. On paper, the Sentry Bot is without a doubt the most effective companion you will ever encounter in the Commonwealth. I mean seriously, humans, synths, super mutants, BORING! But a tank that says things like, Affirmative. Oh yes. <laughs> it's really funny actually, because when I was recording footage for this very video, I went up to have a little chin wag with McCready to get a shot of his face, and my robot just stood there like, You are obsolete, human. On the other hand though, Sentry, if you could please get out of the way, that'd be great. Negative. Sentry, what the fuck are you doing? Sentry, can you please dislodge yourself from that fucking doorway? Error. Command unrecognized. Jesus, Sentry, can you please grow a fucking sense of direction? Negative. Um, yeah. As it turns out, the Sentry Bot actually suffers from a severe case of claustrophobia and will proceed to lose its fucking marbles when confronted with a confined space. You can seriously lose them for an entire mission in some of the larger dungeons in the Commonwealth, especially when the game fails to teleport them back to you. And stairs? Forget it. Even if you make it past a doorway, you can forget steep inclines altogether. They will happily roast their tyres whilst headbutting a wall until you're far away enough for the game to actually give a shit and kick its ass back onto duty. Now, I'm not saying they're completely useless indoors, but they are nowhere near as effective as some of the smaller robots you can build. And so, in summary, the thing that makes a sentry bot so effective in an outside environment is the very same thing that will prove to be its downfall in an inside environment. And so I'd recommend that they only really accompany you in the larger scale outdoor battles, as this is where they'll prove to be most effective. Thank you for watching everyone. If you like this video and want to see more of my content, then I recommend you subscribe to stay up to date with my latest videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, then thank you for continuing to support my channel. Anyway, have a sexy afternoon. Until next time.